well, obviously we put a bit of pressure on ourselves with um, conference. Uh, we started quite slow. And we didn't really know how uh, teams wanted to play against us or how we'd play against teams. And uh, I think that showed in the first three games uh, against Concordia and uh, Harden Simmons where we lost. But um, once we figured it out, obviously then we went on an eight-game winning streak. So yeah, well. W when I came to the school first, my freshman year, we hadn't beaten William Carey in, I think, two or three years. So we were always well aware of how much of a, a rivalry we had against them. And then my freshman year, I remember I was red shirting. We, uh, we lost to them in an awful game we shouldn't have lost. And then my sophomore year, it was a real battle against them up there. And we ended up losing again. They, that was probably the biggest loss I've had as a, as a player at Belhaven. So this year, I wanted to make the freshmen, the sophomores, or even the transfers coming in, realise how much of a big game it was. And uh, if I go back and tell my freshman self something, I'd probably tell myself to really appreciate every practice and every game as it comes, not to take it for granted because it really flies by. I can't believe I'm maybe playing my last game next week. So I tell myself to really appreciate what I have and to really enjoy every game I play. I think I'm ending my career as a senior at Belhaven, very highly, but to win silverware would just be the dream come true. To be recognised down the line in history books of Belhaven would be, yeah, a dream come true. Yeah, I mean, we, the, the season ebbed and flowed. There were, there were times where we felt like we were really improving and then went through some periods where we had some players that were banged up and uh, had to start to use our depth more. I think uh, William Carey, that win was a definitely a defining moment for us that told us and everybody else you know, how good we are, how good we were, and um, it gave us a lot of confidence. But yeah, there's no question that the ASC um, is, a, is a tough conference. The top teams within this conference are, are, are solid. and. Uh, you know, gave us uh, great matches, and I th felt like the match against UT Tyler was another big moment for us this season where we came out and played some of our best football. I uh, was really proud of the way the boys all, um, not just the energy they showed, but just the quality that we showed as well. That was, um, and that's the, the type of quality we'll need as we move into the, into the national tournament. But well, when, the, when that ranking came out, um, we, were, we were ecstatic as a staff, and. We brought that to the boys at practice and let them know that they had achieved something that was very significant. Um, for us to be in our first year of NCAA D3 play and to have that kind of recognition was massive. So at, at the very beginning, at the start of success is, is leadership and uh, we have a, a core group of guys that have really stepped up and been leaders uh, for this team. And the seniors have played a massive role in so many ways, uh, the expectations that they have set for themselves, but also for all the players on the team, um, on the field, off the pitch, um, really um, just holding each other accountable and making sure that everyone understands that the goals we've set are, are, are tough goals. And in order for us to meet those, uh, we've got to make sure that we're all on the same page. And they've done a good job being that liaison between the coaching staff and the players. and. Um, and so, yeah, without them, we probably aren't where we are right now. And we give the seniors a lot of credit. Um, and our three captains have been um, really the, you know, the, the absolute point of that um, and, and critical point of that, of that leadership. And so, you know, it's, a, it's a come down to them to lead again as we, as we 